Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. I'll be demonstrating today some engagement worthy cakes that you can create at home. These are the ones that I made for my particular engagement many moons ago, it feels like. We're starting off with the big kahuna. This is the three tier wedding cake, sorry, three tier engagement cake. I have my fondant and I've cut it out into rectangles, folding the rectangles in half and then just simply tacking them to a styrofoam cake. Just a little bit of water. For the next tier, I'm just cutting out the sides to make space so I can sit nice and flush. And I'm sticking it all together with vegetable shortening. We're going to cover up these fake styrofoam little pieces. And the reason why I'm using styrofoam is because this cake was actually just for display. I will cut it for the cake cutting piece and I'll show you how I go about cheating on how to make that in a fake cake. For the regular size tiers, we are creating a marble. So I've got my three different colors of fondant, just a little bit of that black and gray with a majority of it in white. I'm going to twist it all together, roll it out, and then stretch it over my fake tiers. It's sticking to the cake with vegetable shortening. Do the same for all three tiers. And then for the middle one, I'm cutting out a little section of the styrofoam and I'm going to implant real cake into that section. And that's how you get away with cake cutting into a fake cake to make it look all real. Mark on the very bottom exactly where that cake is. And that way, once it's covered in fondant, you'll be able to know where to cut. Have a look at the bottom once it's all covered and pop a little pin in that section. So now you know that's where you have to cut. Stick it all together with a little bit of ganache. Those teeny tiny ones that were covered with fondant are now going to be covered with a gold diamante ribbon. And the base will be colored with edible gold paint. I used luster dust mixed with rose water spirit. You could also use lemon juice or vodka to create a paint. And making sure that all of my pins are in the same area and they're all gonna stick to the back. That way from the front of the cake, there are no pins. Just try to keep that consistent. Add some edible gold leaf with a little bit of water onto the fondant. And that was our engagement. And nobody would have known any wiser. <laughs> they were all fake. For serving though, you will need a real cake. These two designs are what we use to cut and feed everybody. So these were seven inch round cake tiers. They're all single and covered in white buttercream. Pop it into the fridge once you've smoothed out the sides and then apply edible gold leaf. For the ganache, I've just got some white chocolate buttons mixed with heavy cream. Give it a good zap in the microwave until everything is melted about 20 to 30 seconds and then throw in maybe a drop or two of gel food color. Drip it over the sides and add in your flowers. I'm often asked whether or not my flowers are real. These are fake. I like them fake because they last forever and you can reuse them if you need to. Add some gold covered Maltesers and that's engagement cake number two. Engagement cake number three is very easy. We just used a frosting comb for this effect here. The scalloped one in particular. And then basically just following the same steps again. We wanted these to kind of all be matching in a very similar theme so they all look nice together. And that's it. That's how we created our engagement table spread with these three cakes. I hope you guys enjoyed this cake decorating tutorial and give some of these a go. If you do, hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so we can check them out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.